Hello parents, Erica Desper, founder of Confident Parenting, where we help families get more sleep, tackle potty training, and connect to a village of additional parenting resources. If you're watching this video, you are probably considering diving into potty training with your toddler or preschooler, which is great. I just wanna share some things that you may want to consider before you actually dive in. Be sure to check out the first video about preparing your mindset and expectations. And now for tip number two, we wanna think about learning your child's patterns, cues, and interests. We wanna pay close attention before we make this big change with our child to notice if they have a pattern for how often they uh, poop, and if possible, how often they pee. Now that can be harder to determine if they're wearing a diaper and a pull-up all day, but sometimes we know because they're hiding or maybe they tell us that they're wet and they need a change. The more information you have about how often your child goes, if there's a certain place that they like to go and maybe hide when they need to do it, um, is there a certain face that they make or any other behaviors with their body language or their facial expressions? Um, do they get clingy, cranky, act silly, anything like that? Uh, is there a certain time of day when they go, especially for poop? That would be helpful to know. Does it happen a certain amount of time you know, after meals? Um, some of these things can be hard to determine, but the more information you're armed with, the easier it will be to sort of catch pee and poo um, when it needs to happen and the diaper or the pull-up is not there to catch it for you and for your child. Also pay close attention to what excites your kiddo. I try to have families avoid rewards for pottying when possible, but some of our tougher kiddos do well with some sort of reward system. The key with rewards is that you have to pick something that your child cannot live without, something that really, really excites them and lights them up. So pay close attention to what activities or toys or shows or characters uh, really, really make them excited. A certain video that they want to watch on your phone over and over and over and over. And <laughs> we can use those things if needed to help some more uh, tenacious kiddos move along. So tip number two is spend at least a few days finding, gathering any information that you can, intel we'll call it, about your child's patterns, cues, um, tells if you will, and interests so that you're armed with that information on the day that you dive into the big process. Hopefully that's helpful. I'll be back soon with tip number three and thanks for watching.